Hi, Facebook Live. Happy New Year. We are officially into January 2022. So, I hope you had a great celebration. And what are a hundred things that you are grateful for in 2021? Hi, my name is Eileen. I coach individuals based on a 3A framework, attract, activate, accelerate. Attracting what you want into your life, activating their potential within you, accelerating you to your results sooner than later. So if you're watching me live, feel free to put a hi in the comment box. If you're watching this on a replay, feel free to hashtag replay. So a hundred things that you are grateful for in 2021. And this is a practice I had for the past four years at least. I think someone gave me the idea and I thought, why not? Okay. And usually it's quite easy for the first 20 items. And when I say things, it could also refer to people whom you are grateful for, who created a moment in your life. And I did thank some whom I'm able to tag on Facebook. So as you write down that list of a hundred things, it could be people, it could be incidents, anything. But if you have not done it before, give it a shot because you'll be amazed by how you feel after that. And as you write down your list of a hundred things, I'm actually halfway through. I'm at 50 something. Okay, I'll get it done in the second half of the day. As you are thankful to maybe people, circumstances around you, do note that there are also, there's also someone that you need to be grateful for and the person is you. Yeah, the person is you. Because I'm pretty sure in 2021, there were challenges and you faced the challenges and you came out of it, you rise above and beyond it. So if the idea of making a list of 100 things that you are grateful for in 2021 resonates with you, make that list. And within that list, be grateful to you for willing to face up the challenges that were presented to you. And it's first gen, it's time to restart. It's time to start all over again, right? It's a brand new world, uh, brand new year, brand new world. And if the idea of having to restart makes you feel a little jittery, like, oh, it's going to be something new. I'm not sure if I'm able to handle it. It's okay. So it's okay to feel a little scared. It's okay to be a bit fearful of what's happening. And in a scale of 100%, okay, it's okay to feel fearful. As long as it's up to 49%, right? Because... What you want to have is that 51%. It means that the extra 2% you have against fear is you holding the space for the dreams and the goals you have. That's all you need to do. You can allow fear to exist, but you need not allow fear to dominate your thoughts. Right. So of 100%, you can dedicate up to 49% to fear. If you can bring it down even better, if you can't, Cap it at 49% and allocate the extra 2% right? of the 51%. It means that you're holding the space and I won't say hope, right? It's good to have a plan. I would say hold the space for the goals and dreams that you have. And why I say hope, I cringe a little because when you are saying, I hope it'd be better, it feels like something is still not within your control and that feeling ignites more of that 49% of fear. So today, first gen, if you like to tap onto the idea of making a list of 100 things that you're grateful for, it would definitely put you in a good vibration and not just good, a high vibration. And then continue that high vibration to set some plans, some goals you'd like to achieve in 2022. I did create a 15 minutes planner. I created the planner. I did a planner for myself. And if you have seen my life a couple of days ago, I think I've actually achieved 
<laughs> my goal that I set for 2022 with regards to my physical health. So I might have to stretch my goal a little bit. And with the second goal that I have in mind on intellectual health. And to be honest, today I already got into action and I'm definitely, uh, I made a decision. There was also some monetary investment involved and I was pretty happy with it despite there's some monetary investment but it actually makes me feel a little bit more confident towards the goal I've set for myself with regards to the intellectual health goals that I have for 2022 and if you're wondering why am I so big on physical health goals and intellectual health goals it actually builds up on a lot of things uh, I won't dive too much into it but if you like to um, put the word planner below right it actually lays the foundation of how I did my planner, all it took was 15 minutes. To be honest, I'm still wowed by the fact that my goal that I set in December, which was meant for 2022, my physical goal, my physical health goal, has actually been achieved on the 31st of December 2021. Yeah, done. I'm, I'm actually done. So I need to stretch a new goal. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, I know someone is live with me, I can't see her names, but thanks for being live with me. If you're watching me live for the first time, if you're wondering why am I coming on live, it's because I'm on a challenge, a challenge to come on every day for 365 days, even though like today, it's New Year's, we, we could be celebrating, but I've made a commitment to show up 365 days to share a story, a learning, a reflection. So if this live resonated with you, tell me your thoughts below. Or if you'd like to know more about the 15 minutes planner, which takes only 15 minutes to complete, and it will set you up on a high note from tomorrow onwards because we are into 2022 already, just simply put in the word planner. I'll get you the link to the replay and to the PDF. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope to see you back tomorrow for another live. Otherwise, enjoy your celebrations. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.